Hi, good morning, and thank you for tuning in to Your Come Up. We're on Your Come Up. We talk about all topics to help you come up, business, finance, personal, spiritual, and physical. Today, we're gonna have a conversation here with Kevin Pruitt about how to go about choosing the right moving company. This is your first time here. Thank you for tuning in. How are you doing today, Kevin? Good, Nathan. Nice to see you again. Likewise, nice to see you too. Hope all is well with you. All is as well as it can be. Good, good. (laughs) Got a little caffeine. You got your caffeine. Amen. Otherwise, we're two different people without it. That's right. (laughs) Yes, sir. All right, Kevin. Well, for the people watching in 60 seconds or less, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm I'm Kevin Pruitt. I've been in the uh, moving and storage business for the last uh, 31 years. I uh, had a a work for my brother um, who was my mentor and he uh, ran a portable self-storage business in um, Irvine, California. And in 1997, we sold it to uh, public storage. And then um, I transitioned to public storage. Um, After three years there in operations, I went back to the agency level. And for the last 21 years, I've been with Merit Moving Systems with United Van Lines. Nice. Very supportive and very helpful. I'm very lucky, very blessed. Awesome, man. That's awesome to hear. I love the, mm-hmm. the humbleness and the story behind it. Uh-huh. For, for people that are watching and are looking to decide on the moving company, because moving is obviously a necessary evil. Mm-hmm. You're going to move eventually. Right. What should people, what are the must do's before hiring a moving company, in your professional opinion? I, I, I would start off by telling you this there's three types of movers there's a, a moving companies that are truck and a couple of men come out and move your furniture. Um, those are things that we probably used when we were in uh, college or when we were moving a girlfriend out of our house or a you know just somebody to move. Mm-hmm. Then there's uh, the second class of moving that I like to tell people is there's what they call a mom and pop mover. Mom and pop movers are um, people that probably have two to three trucks and that they maybe do local moving and then do some short hauling, which is under a thousand miles. And then there is uh, big movers who can move people across country, Mm -hmm. um, state to state, um, can move internationally and can move office moving. But what I would really say um, in today's environment, you don't want to get phone quotes. Mm -hmm. Um, With virtual surveying and with uh, people coming out to the home to look at your home, you either need to get a virtual survey, which I would still not recommend if somebody is willing to come out to your home due to the pandemic. But um, have them come out. Um, and I think that number two, the really important thing is to decide prior to, or when you sit down with a mover, uh, what you want to get done. And what I mean by get done is get accomplished. Do you want to pack your dishes? Do you want to pack your clothes? Do you want to pack your garage? You know, be specific with the person there so that they're able to give you the type of estimate that you're trying to get for your move. Second thing is try to put a budgetary figure in your mind before they come out. If you think that it's gonna be, you know, $3,000 or $5,000 or $10,000, try to put that number and then if they give you that number and it's higher, you know, ask them how you can work to get to that number. Mm -hmm. I think sometimes, people take the lowest price in our business yeah and we find out at the end of the move that the lowest price provider is not the best provider they don't give the best service they don't give the uh, best um, time frames on getting their articles from california to tennessee so those are those are things that you want to make sure that you um you you do some research uh, do do Google, do Yahoo, do Yelp. So those would be some, some pre things that I would do prior to uh, getting a mover to come out and then interview some movers and then decide who you're gonna move, uh, go with. Okay, are real estate agents good to ask too? Like, hey, what it, moving companies you suggest or? Yeah, okay. real estate agents are really a good, um, a good source. 
Remember though, a real estate agent wants to get your transaction done and completed. And normally the move is after their transaction is completed. Sometimes they are leery to give referrals to movers because they, if a move goes bad, then it looks bad upon them. I do have quite a few uh, real estate agents that I've worked with mm -hmm. due to being in the same market for a 20 year period. Awesome. All right. Well, appreciate it, Kevin, for dropping some, some wisdom on here. Appreciate and you. Thank you. Appreciate you as well. And thank you guys for watching. Until next time.